back everyone you may be experiencing some battery drain on your specific iphone that's on ios 15. now the thing i'm going to tell you is is that if you're in a beta right now aka you're on the beta software not official ios 15 then you're probably going to experience battery drain anyway so you can do all these tricks and tips whatever none of them are really going to fix it because you're still going to experience some issues when it comes down to the battery drain because it's a beta the first thing I'd recommend doing though, if you are on the official version of the software, is making your way over to your battery section here. You want to click on battery down here. You want to click on battery health and you want to note what percentage your battery health is on. If your battery health is like under 80%, sometimes even under 90%, this can basically be a hardware issue. So you may want to go ahead and schedule a time with Apple to replace your battery. That's probably the best thing you want to do in that standpoint. Another thing you can do that is, has nothing to do with this battery health thing is one thing that I've done that helps me out with my battery a ton is to make my way over to general right here. You then want to go down to background app refresh, click right there. And what I do is I, you know, turn off any of these specific apps that I don't want accessing my data or accessing my, you know, app in the background. So essentially, you know, think about like every single app you turn off here will save a little bit of battery life. So there are apps that you don't want to turn off. You don't want to turn off things like Instagram or like TikTok in my opinion or Snapchat because I want notifications. So if you're okay with not getting notifications from some of these apps, then that's essentially what you do. So I don't really care if I get a you know, notification from podcasts or NordVPN or news. I don't really care about those specific things. So you can essentially turn them off as you want to. But I do want to get notifications from Snapchat. So I'll basically leave that on right there. So that's another thing I've done in the past that helps me out a lot. Another thing you can do, obviously, decrease the brightness. Turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or even turning on low power mode will actually end up helping your battery out in the long run as well. But another thing I do that actually, you know, saves me a ton of battery life is going back into my settings, hopping down into battery, which is down here, and kind of locating which specific apps are taking up the most of my battery. So in this specific case, as you can see, Snapchat is taking up 66% of my battery. Now, as you can see, my battery wasn't really that charged to begin with, and I use this probably for like one second. But you can see that if, you know, in your specific case, if it's your main phone, you probably have like 30 apps down here. So if you kind of locate, you know, look at your specific, you know, apps and see, hey, wait, this app is taking up way more battery than I need to, you may see that your specific app that, you know, maybe like a, a GPS app, like a map app or something like that, like Apple Maps, Google Maps, those may end up taking the most amount of battery. So there's really nothing you can do about it besides lowering your brightness, meaning your phone is just like completely just like draining battery over and over again. The best thing you may want to do is to power down your phone. So you want to go ahead and grab your phone like this, hold down the buttons to make it power down on the iPhone 12 and any notched iPhone power up button and the volume down button, the power button on the side and the volume up button, hold them down, swipe to, you know, power off and you'll essentially be good to go at that point. So those are just a couple ways to fix your battery drain on your iPhone. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Sultan.